a story that's called Don't Trouble Trouble Till Trouble Trouble You. Don't Trouble Trouble Till Trouble Trouble You. The story has three characters. One of the characters is always the same in any version of the story, and there are many versions of the story. Br'er Coral Snake is a character who's always the same. The other two characters can be eh, sometimes Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Possum, sometimes Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Goat. It doesn't matter. The important character is, um, is Br'er Coral Snake. And in this version of the story, Br'er Coral Snake is the main character, and the other two characters are Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Nancy. You know about Br'er Nancy. Br'er Nancy is the trickster spider with the long head. He's very smart. He comes from the Ashanti in Ghana, in West Africa, and I'm sure you know all about him. You know about Nancy stories. Well, on this morning, a fine sunny morning, Brian Nancy was doing his exercises at the bottom of the hill, and at the top of the hill, Brian Rabbit was waking up, stretching, putting on his clothes, put on a nice clean shirt with two pockets, he liked pockets, and he put on a pair of shorts, and he popped out of his hole, and he thought he'd go down the hill for his morning walk to visit with his friend, Brian Nancy. And so he started off singing a little song that he'd made up himself. Rabbits go hop, hop, horses go clap, clap, balloons go pop, pop. So he was singing his little song and going along down the road looking up at the beautiful blue sky and looking to the left and looking to the right at the lovely fields of green grass and every now and then looking down on the ground because it's a good idea to look down on the ground every now and then when you're walking. And on one of the times that he looked down, he noticed a brick and under the brick he noticed Br'er Coral Snake. Well, Br'er Coral Snake, hmm, is a tricky one. He's also a dangerous one. He's about 12 inches long. He has bands of red and black and white that go around his body. And if he bites you, his bite can kill you. And Br'er Rabbit knew all of these things. And normally Br'er Rabbit would stop and help. But he thought this time, I don't think I'm stopping to help Br'er Carl Snake. No, I don't think so. So he walked on by and he kept on singing his little song, except not, not too far on, he heard a voice. Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Rabbit. Oh you, oh, you just pass me like that. Don't you see me lying down here underneath this brick? You couldn't stop and help somebody, man. You couldn't stop and help me. So Br'er Rabbit stopped and he thought, and against his better judgment, he decided he would go back and help Br'er Coral Snake. So he hopped back up the hill, bent down, took up the brick, took Br'er Coral Snake and stuck him in his pocket and he started back on his way down the hill to see his friend Br'er Nancy. Well, he hadn't gone much further on when he heard a voice. <laughs> I'm going to bite you. Well, he stopped and the voice said again, I'm going to bite you. And Br'er Rabbit realized that the voice was the voice of Br'er Coral Snake and Br'er Coral Snake was threatening to bite him. So he said, I don't understand you, Br'er Coral Snake. I just rescued you. I just took you from under the brick that was on your back where you lay motionless in the road and now you are saying that you're going to bite me. Why are you going to bite me? And Br'er Coral Snake sort of made a little hiss and said, it's just in my nature, I guess. So Br'er Rabbit thought quickly and he said, well, Br'er Coral Snake, if you are going to bite me and kill me, I think the least you could do is allow me to continue down the hill and say a last farewell to my 
best friend, Brer Nancy. So Brer Coral Snake thought about it and said, well, I don't see a problem with that. Um, let's go down and, and you can say goodbye to Brer Nancy. So Brer Rabbit hurried down the hill and there was Brer Nancy doing his morning exercises, swinging back and forth on a long thread out of a beautiful web that he had spun. But when he saw the look on Brer Rabbit's face, he stopped and he said, Morning, morning, Brer Rabbit, morning, Brer Rabbit. How you look so? How you look so? So Brer Rabbit said, Well, I'm going to die. I have come to say my final goodbye. I'm going to die. So Brer Nancy said, but, but you sick? You sick? And Brer Rabbit said, no, I'm not sick. Well, how are you going to die? How are you going to die? So Brer Rabbit said, well, um, Brer Coral Snake, who's here in my pocket, says he's going to bite me, and that bite is going to kill me, and that is why I'm going to die. So Brer Nancy said, but I don't understand, but I don't understand. Why you have that snake in your pocket? Why you have that snake in your pocket? So Br'er Rabbit told him the whole story, how he had been coming down the hill and he saw Br'er Carl Snake underneath the brick and Br'er Carl Snake asked him to help and he decided to help and he picked up Br'er Carl Snake and he put Br'er Carl Snake in his pocket and Anansi interrupted. He said, stop there, stop there. I don't understand, I don't understand. So Br'er Rabbit said, but I am telling you the story as clearly as I can. So Brian Nancy said, no, 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 no. I think I need to see. I think I need to see. So Brian Rabbit said, see what? And Brian Nancy said, I think I need to see where this happened, where this happened. So Brian Rabbit said, okay, we can go back up the hill. I, the, the brick will still be there. So Brian Nancy swung out on his thread and he landed on Br'er Rabbit's shoulder and the three of them set off up the hill. And sure enough, the brick was still there on the ground and Br'er Rabbit stopped and said to Br'er Nancy, Br'er Nancy, that's the brick, that's the brick and, and that's where Br'er Coral Snake was, he was under that brick. So Br'er Nancy said, Still not sure, still not sure. Now, where you were, Br'er Rabbit, where you were? So Br'er Rabbit stood exactly where he had been in the road and Br'er Nancy said to Br'er Carl Snake, and where you were, where you were, Br'er Carl Snake, where you were? So Br'er Carl Snake went over by the brick and he slid down beside it and quick as a bunny, Br'er Rabbit grabbed the brick and put it back <laughs> on Br'er Carl Snake's back because he knew what Br'er Nancy's plan was, right? And when he put the brick back on the back of Br'er Carl Snake so he couldn't move, Br'er Nancy said, Ha ha, I knew you would understand, Br'er Rabbit. I knew you would understand. The two of us make a plan and I knew you would understand. And then he turned to Br'er Rabbit and he said, never mind you understand, never mind you understand. Don't trouble, trouble, till trouble, trouble you. Don't trouble, trouble, next time. Don't trouble, trouble, till trouble, trouble you. Jack Mandora, me not choose none.